Hey guys, Johnny Sunshine here, making an appearance to the world. It's about 11:30. Uh, I'm leaving right now. It's ra rainy, nasty, cold. I don't feel good, but I gotta go get this lady's house up and running. She's coming in at like one o'clock. She wants hot water. So I'm gonna have to go over here and fire this place up, make sure everything's good. Uh, but that's gonna be it for me today, man. I'm gonna go buy a, a, a test, a COVID test, just to see where I am. I need to make sure I'm not sick. I can't be getting my, my customers sick, man. Uh, still recovering. I don't know if any of you guys saw that video I put up this morning. All I can think of is that commercial back in the day when the guy's holding an egg and he says, this is your brain. And then he cracks it into a fucking red hot frying pan and says, this is your brain on drugs. Yeah, that's how I felt last night. good guys not good all right guys so I'm here at this house to get this place fired up you can see the uh, that's that's my writing ah, you can see the water heater is off everything else is aligned here I can tell I put this water heater in it's got my signature on it uh, anyways so I'm gonna turn this on Slowly, let the pressure build. You see the dial spinning up there, I'm watching that. Could be toilets filling. I just gotta make sure it stops. That's a lot of water going into this place, but it sounds like it's slowing down. I don't know if she emptied this water heater or what, but. I'm gonna go in and run the I'm gonna go inside and, and run the hot water. Get make sure this tank is empty. I mean uh, full, I'm sorry. So she hasn't been here in uh, eight months, she said. So. gonna let that run easily I don't want a bunch of air shooting out of it she's got CPVC in this house just gonna let everything run Christ, man, that's a lot of air. Oh, 
luckily I have a good meter out there with a dial on it and I just need to make sure that that dial's not spinning when I leave. I'm not sure what she did, if she emptied the water heater or what, but. That air, hear it going into the toilet? Man. Scary with this uh, CPVC. This all looks good here. I'm gonna go upstairs real quick and uh, how do I turn this light on? I just wanna make sure everything's good up here. Let some air out of these faucets. say we're good making sure I turn out all the lights that I turned on there are some lights in here that were left on uh, so I just need to go down So I can tell that the water meter is not spinning, obviously. The water heater is full. I'm going to turn this back on. I'm going to listen to see if this upper element kicks on because it's a cold stock. She's cooking. Uh, it's all good. Johnny's got to go get his uh, tires aired up, man. These dualies in the back are a real issue, man. Keeping them full of air. I can't get to the... Uh, tried all kinds of different things to get the stems out far enough where you can air them up. But basically, got to pull the damn tires to put air in them. So I need to go get my stuff aired up. They're a little bit low. Uh fairly new tires like less than a year old so I want to keep them full and get my money's worth out of them but uh, that was a little easy job uh, I hate to turn water on to an empty house but she'll be there in an hour the meter is very very sensitive uh, the dial that was on that meter so I'm confident that there's no water running in the house uh, it was dead stop when I when I left and uh, 
That's it, man. She's a nice lady. She's from Massachusetts. And uh, strong Massachusetts accent. I wonder if she puts fucking mayo on her Italian sub. First time I got to Florida, man, I went and got an Italian sub at a fucking Publix or something. This was 35 years ago. I bit into that fucking thing and almost threw up, man. I was like, what the fuck is in that? I said, what is this shit? The lady said, oh, we mix our mustard and mayonnaise together on an Italian sub. I was like, honey, I can't do that. You gotta give me a new roll or do something. Wipe this shit off. I can't do mayo and mustard on a fucking Italian sub. It's fucking ludicrous. American sub down here. It's ham and bologna with fucking two pounds of mayo on it. Yeah. I wonder why they all look like fucking cows. So guys, I came in to get my uh, air tires aired up. This is a, basically a tire that's not even a year old and it's shot, man. Uh, I had to get a new tire put on the front. I think what happened was when I moved, when I put all these tools up here in the front and then added my, my stand-up toolbox right here, uh, right behind the passenger seat, it's throwing that, that front end out of alignment and I'm getting, I mean, Ford trucks always have kind of an issue with tires wearing on the inside, the tires curl in. Uh, a little weird when you overload and you've got a, a heavy truck, but uh, I got to get this toolbox out of here, man. I'll be honest, I hardly ever use it. I got to figure out another place to put it and lighten up the passenger side of this truck. So, uh, something I need to do, but this is what happens when you own a business. That's why you got to charge that trip charge, guys, because maintenance on vehicles. I'm sure I'm not gonna get out of here uh, for less than three, four hundred bucks. So uh, it is what it is. My bad. I should have been paying more attention to my, my shit. Uh, anyways, it is what it is. So I had him flip this one around. Uh, because it was wearing a little bit too. I had him flip the tire so that I got the good threads on the inside. Uh, I'm glad I got here because that tire could have blown out there on 75. Not good, man. Anyways, uh, let me see if I can square up with this guy and then I gotta go to the tool guy and to a front end alignment guy. Hey guys, I'm over here at my buddy's place. Uh, Jeff Flanders, he owns a uh, He's a gas guy. Down here, we, you know, a lot of guys do gas. I used to put gas in new houses, but it got to the point where it's really like uh, a specialty. You know, that's what you specialize in down here, and that's what he does. He sells propane. You can see he's got a big fucking uh, setup here, a couple of trucks. He does new construction, hooks up a lot of generators from what he just told me and i want to talk to him he went into business around the same time i went into business uh real good guy he knows his shit when it comes to gas but i want to show you his trailer that he uses for installations and uh he's a pro press guy you'll be happy to hear that uh but this is his rig and he's gonna once he gets done with this customer uh He's going to talk to me a little bit about what he does and how how he's doing his stuff, but he's all set up here He's got a uh, He's got his pipe threading. He cuts all his drops and everything here and uh, he's Just a good work good good hard-working guy and uh, he's doing his thing man So 
Hey guys, this is Jeff Flanders. He's been around for a long time, brother. How how many years? You've Twenty five years. Yeah, I got a. You went into business right after I went in. What yeah. year did you go in? Ninety nine. Matter of fact, you used to do the Lennar Homes down there. Yeah, yeah. And I saw your whole crew battling with another crew one morning. I'm like, what the hell? Oh going yeah. On? We, sometimes <laughs> it gets like that down here, boys. We were fighting, man. The cops came and everything. <laughs> yeah, they did. We want to keep our fucking reputation as a bunch of Looney Tunes from up <laughs> north. <laughs> and the fucking rednecks down here, it was good one. Yeah, it was. I must say, they kicked our fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, man. Uh, Tell me about this thing. So this trailer is basically set up for uh, generators and pool heaters. So uh -huh. all the pro press fittings, and then we can transition over to threaded fittings and mm -hmm. tons of regulators and venting and. Oh, wow. and let me go over a couple of uh, game changer tool here. Yeah, what's that? Threaded rod cutter. Really? And when it cuts it, you can screw Just it right into it. Just right on it. Yep, it doesn't fuck up the end like the hacksaw yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, Pro Press. Nice. And let's see, oh, this is nice. PVC cutter? Yeah, yeah. I, I got all the... I gave man. it to my pool guy because I don't use them. Both. Yeah, the tools now are great, man. I mean, The just, shit they have now is just yeah, incredible. Yeah, little compressors. Comfort. I mean, it's just... Yeah, yeah it's man. Great. Nice, easy thing. Yeah, and the, having the trailer like this in a rainy season and all. Yeah. It's, it's, well, you, did you, you remember my gas rig I had? I had an uh, open trailer with a 300 on it. Yep, yep. Is it a 300, rigid 300 or so 600? What we do is I actually go to, because I can do most everything pro press and when I transition right. the threads, you I've got, got your nipples. I've got a 20 inch, actually I've got a seven inch all the way to 60 inch yeah. threaded on both ends ready to go. We don't have to, when we're in the field, we're not threading anything. Right. So we're just throwing it together. So it's just, because we bang. constantly have somebody working the dock and they're threading pipe. Oh yeah, yeah. Keeping it all nice. Going, so. so you just make sure your truck stops the yep. trailer. Yeah, I mean it puts definitely puts some weight on it, but I mean it's Yeah, my trailer was set up I like I said, my my uh threading machine looked like a Gatlin gun on the back yeah. of that trailer, yeah. but yeah. it was all open and uh we could we could do our thing. We were doing those gas we were gas piping a house in like mm -hmm. three, four hours. Yeah. Uh, yep. with the you still using what kind of what's the name of that pipe? Uh C S S T Ward Flex. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Done that. And then those right there are game changer flex risers. Yeah. So what that does is that brings the poly out of the ground all the way up to there. So you're wow. not down in the ground having Alright guys, so uh the battery crapped out, but I'm almost done with that interview with my buddy there, Jeff. He's got a great business, he's got a great attitude, he's a hard worker, real smart kid. Uh he's 55. He's a little younger than me, but uh, you know, he's a worker, man. He's getting it done, setting himself up to retire. Uh, that's gonna do it on the gas, see ya. Hey guys, Johnny Sunshine here. Uh, I made my way to Detweiler's. It is literally packed, man. Just craziness. Bumper to bumper, right? Eh? Yep. Beautiful store. Look at, uh, the, look at the ceiling. Yeah. We're gonna need a new paint job up here someday, but uh, for now it's all good. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> something happened with the paint. They didn't prep that right, or there's a leak or well, something. They will not be. I don't see this thing being able to carry too much weight. No, but it's pitched pretty good to the back of this building. Yeah, oh, I know, but and, look, at uh, the, look at the thrust there, it's kind of wobbly. Yeah, it's all engineered. That stuff's not going anywhere. I mean, if we had snow and ice up there, oh, you'd be in trouble. that shit would be coming down. Yeah. Anyways, guys, this is Johnny Sunshine at my favorite spot, uh, Detweiler's Stickney Point in Sarasota. Sitting here between two Trump old. How old are you, my friend? 85. 85. How old are you? 80. 80. He's from. He's a Canadian. And this guy. Where are you from? What's you? What Russia. You, True Russia. No, no, no. What did you say you are? From Soviet Union. 
He's from the Soviet Union. <laughs> so we're all from the Soviet Union. I'm here 45 years. He, it was it was the Soviet Union. When I was he left. waiting visa one and a half year. All right, guys, that's it. We got a little heat here between these two guys. I, I'm taking the Russian guy over the Canadian. I got ten bucks on the Russian. What are we doing? I don't know. He's ready to kick your butt, man. I'm kidding. You guys don't understand. I'm kidding anyway. I don't do something like that. Yeah. Well, you guys have a great day, man. You Johnny too. Sunshine is checking you, you out. Stay out. Hey guys. So you heard that kid Jeff from uh, Flanders Gas talking about a fight that happened out on the job site. Now I was doing work for Lenar Homes. We were roughing in. There were three slabs in a row, or a couple of a couple of uh, lots had been staked out. And my guys drove in to uh, do a rough in. I wasn't on that job. Uh, and I get a call from my guys, and they're screaming. They're like, hey, hey we need you over here. Rah, rah, rah. There's a fight going on. So when I get there, they these concrete company, the guys who were pouring the slabs, got into it with my guys and they actually jumped there were about seven of them fuckers and they beat the hell out of two or three of my guys and you know i get there and i was like what happened they were like they ran a, a grade stake over on a fucking empty lot and you know to me that's just bullshit starting a fight i mean we didn't start anything yeah so when i got there I called the cops. I was like, I'm pressing charges on all of you guys, man. Beating up my guys. My truck had a dent in the side. Yeah, so the cops came. And I pressed charges on that concrete company. Uh, for and, and they went to court. My buddy Sean, he, uh, he won a settlement against them. But, uh... It took about 10 years for that shit to go away, you know. People were like, oh, I, we heard you were fighting on our job. It wasn't, we weren't fighting, we were defending ourselves. But, uh, not good. But I will tell you, there was one of those guys that had a lot of mouth, and he, he was like a little punk, you know, without all his buddies. And he was the one who was really, like, sucker shot and Sean. Got him. One day he showed up, ah, I'm not gonna fool with this. 